Joe, you could make that into a career at this point. How are you all? You ready to party? They're here because nighttime is the place to be. And tonight, my good friends, aboard will be Oingo Boingo. New edition will be here. You'll have a chance to hear what people have to ask of Olivia Newton-John directly. And up on that stage in a second, a very funny lady. But let me share with you a telegram, my friends. I've waited all week to share this with you. Their favorite television show. Watch it every week. And it's signed, Madonna and Sean. Madonna Ramirez and Sean Henderson. <laughs> We're very glad they're watching. You're about to have some fun with us. Please come and join us for the next hour and greet a lady that will make you smile. If I direct your attention this way, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lois Bromfield. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot. I, uh, I don't know, I feel good tonight for some reason. Uh, I'm Canadian, first of all. Any Canadians? No Canadians? Oh, good. Great. A ride home. Great. 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 I got to tell you, truthfully and honestly, um, this outfit, I got it in Beverly Hills. I stole it. And because uh, God knows you can't afford that stuff, huh? Yes, sir. I, I love shopping in Beverly Hills because the people there are so real and down to earth. And uh, <laughs> they are. They're great. I love shopping in the real expensive stores because they play music that makes you buy stuff, you know? You don't want to buy anything. You walk in, you're kind of depressed. You kind of got your Gemco card. <laughs> Those are hard to get. <laughs> And you're really feeling bad, and all of a sudden you hear that music. After about 10 minutes, you're going, hey, okay. 80 bucks, I'm a jerk, yeah, let's go, come on. Walking out with stuff you don't want, you know. I get real mad too at signs. They always have real stupid signs in change rooms. Like I went into the store the other day and there was this big, huge sign and it said, please do not remove your undergarment, please. Real mad. Like, one day a woman came into the shop, real suspicious looking, you know, like your undergarment's a lethal weapon, right? A woman came into the shop, real suspicious looking, glasses, a trench coat. Goes into the change room, looks at the sign, laughs. Takes off her trench coat, takes off her glasses, takes off her undergarment, comes in. Okay, everybody, stand back. I've got my undergarment off and I'm taking these jeans with me. Let's go. it is, I'll tell you quite honestly, you know, I'm, I'm, I turned 30 in April and it's a devastating age, you know, it really is because when you turn 30, they say that you start to reach your sexual peak. Now, <laughs> I don't know who they are, but I'm going to hurt them when I find them. <laughs> and it scares me too because while you're reaching your sexual peak, your car insurance goes down, okay? And I think that may be a little dangerous, don't you? I mean, <laughs> Friday, Saturday night, feeling a little on edge, go to a bar, pick somebody up, gotta go! <laughs> Driving past those high schools to find guys in their sexual peak. Yes, sir. <laughs> It's true, when you're with a guy like you can't be a pig, and this happened to me, I was having dinner, I didn't eat much, so my stomach was kind of empty, you know? And you know that attractive sound your stomach makes when it's empty? That kind of <laughs> We're sitting in the car, a couple hours later, we're driving along, all of a sudden my stomach goes, come on, let's go, pig woman, food, come on, stop, I see a place. It was horrible, he pushed me out a block from my house and uh, didn't have a relationship, but I didn't care because I was near food now, and that's all that mattered. And... But you know that great feeling when you finally get home and you can finally be a pig, be yourself, right? You go into your bedroom, you change into your eating clothes, boy, is that a... <laughs> that shirt with the food on it, you know? And then like a real lady, you go into the kitchen, <laughs> unhinge your jaw and tip back the fridge. Boy, does that look nice. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not right. But I gotta tell you one thing, it's really, before I go, I was, uh, this week I went to see a lot of movies and um, I love uh, scary movies. I love them, but you know, they never make any sense, right? Because people in the films never know they're gonna get killed. And no matter what happens, you know, you hear that music, it's like, I watched this one horror film, and they showed this woman, right, she decides to go out and take a drive. Worst thunderstorm in 100 years, right? And you know that music they always have in horror films, kind of, dun dun, ah, ding ding, wee woo, ah, ding ding, dun dun, ah, ah, dun 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 dun, wee woo, ah. She gets in her car. She starts driving, dun 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 dun, wee woo, ah, wee woo, ah. television, I'm sitting there going, lady, where are you going? What are you doing? The windshield wipers are going. Her car, her car breaks down in the middle of nowhere, so she gets out of her car. Where is she going? She's gonna go nuts. I'm going, lady, get back in your car. She starts walking down the road in the pouring rain. All you can hear is her shoes in the mud going. She goes there to get help. 
was a dog on the porch going, no, go back! <laughs> Science with Angle Boingo coming up. Don't go away. It's nighttime.